Mike What's going on, everybody? This is Mike Husson with the news. And the woman that you are looking at on the screen right now is Mrs. Dominique Brown. Yeah, Miss Dominique Brown goes by the rapper name of Dripping Honey. And I'm pretty sure y'all done heard the stories by now that she got fired from her former job, which was Taylor Preparatory High School. Now, I heard about the story of Miss Dominique Brown maybe about a month ago, and I decided not to report it at that time because, you know, sometimes when you hear stories like this of, you know, a teacher being fired because they decided to pick another career path and that career path just doesn't seem to line up with some of the people in the school. You know what I'm saying? At first, when you don't have enough information, you look at it like this might be a publicity stunt. This might be something to kind of set her music off. So let me show you the post that I seen at first. She said, recently, I was forced to leave my position due to being a rapper. A single parent's disapproval led to my dismissal. The parent wished to stay anonymous after contacting my job for months. I've been dealing with this since I dropped Dripping Honey 101. Five months later, meanings after. So now, she dropped a song that showed that, you know, number one, the parents of the students was in support of her. Number two, that the students was in support of her, you know, pursuing a rap career. You know, on another post, she said, of course, students go home and tell their parents everything. Parents reached out to me about what we can do about my removal. Me, 250 parents and students was trying to get our story heard a month before I dropped my video, Dripping One on One. The parents supported I dropped my video. So I was sitting here and I was thinking to myself, why would they think that, you know, saying the, the dismissal of this woman from her job that was ma actually making her money was so much more important, you know, than, than um, her ha actually having a rap career. Now, as a teacher, I would I would think that you would have to keep up a certain image, a certain look and a certain likeness for your students. And you wouldn't want to stray them down the wrong path. But let's be frank, people. Rap is all around the world and it has taken over everywhere. And it's going to be at least nine times out of ten times. A teacher that's a pursuing a rap career in your schools right now. It's going to be that. You can't get rid of that. So, for her to be fired, number one, just seems like, uh, you know, a little biased because like she said, uh, one single parent wanted her dis dismissal. One single parent wanted her removed from the school, but there were 250 others that was like, uh, this ain't that bad. Especially for a Detroit woman. At least she ain't out there selling drugs. At least she ain't out there, you know, saying committing all kind of heinous crimes. And, you know, in the in the foreground, portraying to be an upstanding citizen by being a teacher. So even me, I look at it like it's, it's not that bad. I mean, yeah, she might have subject, subjective lyrics. Yeah, she might dress a certain way, as you can see right there, that may uh, influence your particular child in a certain way. But you don't know how she's talking to those children behind the scenes. You don't know that if, if she's uh, letting the children know, look, this is me, this is what I'm doing, but you can pursue another path. Now, as I researched Taylor Preparatory High School, I found out that they had a lot of different programs in which she said, uh, in, in another interview or something like that, that she uh, was a part of the archery program and uh, arts and crafts program and things of that nature that uh, she took some of her skills and actually taught the students. Now, if they actually had a music program there, then she could be able to show them how to make their own music, how to produce their own tracks, how to, you know, saying formulate their own career. 
And what I'm saying in essence is that, you know, rap itself is teaching in itself. But let me let me play this right here so y'all can get the whole gist of what's going on. Back in the fall, Dominique Brown earned Teacher of the Month honors, and then two months later, she was fired, but it wasn't about anything she did in the classroom. She says a parent complained about her rap career, which was off the clock. By now, Drippin' Honey's music video, Drippin' 101, has been seen by tens of thousands across numerous social media platforms. And it combines two of her passions, rapping and some of the students she's taught. That's right, a U.S. history teacher who's moonlighting as a rapper. But last month, she was forced out of her teaching job, and it started with a parent's complaint. That's when the first meeting was with my dean and the principal, and they were just telling me, like, hey, um, a parent said that they see your social media and that you're a black influence because you're a rapper. Drippin' Honey's real name is Dominique Brown. She says that the parent continued to complain, even though the educator was named Teacher of the Month. Despite asking for a complaint in writing, Dominique says she never received it. And Dominique believes that she was discriminated against. I was like, hey, well, can we tell that parent to come in and see professionalism, see me in a classroom, see me after school, see me at all the games, see me dropping kids off every day, buying food, doing all these things. Can they come see me in my element before they try to say I'm unprofessional in it? Was there at any point anything that was brought up that said, your rap career may have, the lyrics that you use may have been a bad influence on some of the students that you had. Well, the parents would just stay anonymous and she didn't really give too much detail on what she did or didn't like and the school didn't give me too much detail either. Music is part of the culture, we from Motown, this is what we do. So it's not like it's unheard of, it's the culture. And when you, you look like me, you just understand it a little more better that it's not that I'm trying to deter these kids from stopping their dreams. In a statement, a spokesperson for Taylor Preparatory High School, which is a charter school, said they're aware of Brown's allegations, but student and employee privacy rights limit what they can say. The statement went on to say, quote, student well-being remains at the forefront of everything we do, and we will continue fostering a distraction-free teaching and learning environment focused on student success. If I was a horrible teacher, y'all would have dropped me the day it was a problem. You, did you ever feel that they were transparent enough for you? Absolutely not. If there ever was an opportunity, and Taylor said, hey, look, we want you back, would you consider it? Um, no, I just want this to be an example for them to do better. Dominique says that she's in the process of trying to seek out an attorney and take some legal action. In Taylor, I'm Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News. And me personally, I wouldn't accept the invitation back to, if you know, I was to, you know, be in a position like that and be fired because of a uh, secondary career path that I chose. So I just want to say a uh, big shout out to Dominique Brown. I hope, you know, from here, everything goes up for you. And, you know, we actually hear your name again. We want to talk more about you here and hopefully it's in a more positive light. But then we have Sexy Red. Now. I'm not gonna lie. Sexy Red is one of uh one of my favorite uh female rappers right now. I like her down to earthness, like her realness, like uh, you know, everything about it. She she uh for the most part, I, if, if I remember correctly, she independent. So I like that about her. But sometimes she just gotta hold back a little bit of something. A little bit of something. Now, recently. She visited a school for the second time. Another school, y'all, because, you know, y'all probably realize or remember before that she went to a school and she got a little backlash for being at the school for, um, you know, throwing up middle fingers and all that extra stuff, gang signs. But she visited another school. And this is the result. Nobody called the police. So look, so this school put me, I came up here, got you. Try to talk to the kids, get in the water, they're gonna put me off. Tell me, that's my like, weed, watch this. We gonna try to get mad. Fuck the old man. Bitch, you're nobody. Bitch, like I'm finna sit with your they ain't come to see you, Otis. Otis? Bitch. Nice you heard who they screaming for? Nice oh, Hi, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we fucked my head up. Thanks for the sound. 
All right, so when she visited the school, as you can hear right there, she said the school put her out because they said that she smelled like weed. After they put her out, she went on video to chastise the school for putting her out because she smelled like weed and not letting her, you know, visit the kids and motivate the kids and things of that nature. Then she went further to perform on one of the school buses. Now, I'm going to say this. She could have handled that a lot more gracefully. She could actually learn from that particular situation on how to come back and, you know, uh, be able to talk to the kids or how to approach, uh, you know, a school when you come in as an artist or a big name or anything like that to talk to kids because the one thing that they're going to judge is how she came dressed. That's, 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 you know, first impressions of everything, people. The one thing they're going to judge is how she came dressed. The next thing they're going to judge is if she smelled like weed. Because now you're giving off an a impression to the kids that this is the way it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, uh, as a human being, not just a rapper. And, you know, that's how the people are going to look at it. Now, I pulled up some other examples of other female rappers who have done the exact same thing so that y'all won't say, well, you know, you're just picking on Sexy Red and she she can go and do what she want to do the way that she want. Yes, she can, but a lot of people ain't going to agree with that. So this is Cardi B when she went and visited they school. They stole my braids. They stole my braids. And it was the most talented bitch. <laughs> I was the most talented one. <laughs> Like I said, first impressions are everything. If my first impression of seeing you is a woman that's fully covered up, is a woman that looked like she's coming about some business and she's coming to motivate some kids, and I'm going to let you in the school, and I promise you she didn't show up there smelling like the Grinchiest of the green. But another example would be Nicki Minaj when she went to visit the school. Now, as y'all can see in, the, in this video, you know, a lot properly dressed, not like she usually is, half naked running around. She's covered up, you know what I'm saying, for the most part. And I'm pretty sure she did not come to that school smelling like the Grinchiest of Green or the loudest of loud. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to another example. You have. Oh, she been tweaking like she tough. We gon' catch the hoe outside. I tell her get the balloons. We gon' throw a surprise. It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. Hey, okay. <laughs> now, Lotto came to dance with the football team, dance with the cheerleaders, even though the lyrics may be a little suggestive. At least she showed up. You know. You know a lot covered up not you know for legs down but you know still she she looked like something and she didn't come uh putting off an influence to the kids in a negative light and then finally it was your typical thursday for some memphis area students rapper glorilla visited mlk prep academy in frazier it's her old high school and she felt it was necessary to go back and check on her school her hit song f and f hit number one on mainstream r b hip-hop airplay charts and she even has a song coming out with rapper cardi b soon she wants to inspire the students at mlk prep and let them know that their dreams are achievable I want them to know that anything they put their mind to is possible. Um, long as they got a dream, they just got to reach for the stars. And whatever they put their mind to do and whatever they work for, they can do and they can get. Never too much inspiration. The rapper also donated $25,000 to the school, $12,500 towards senior dues, and the rest of that went towards the music department there. All right, so there. Yeah. You have four other examples of how to do it properly. So in this video, let, let, let's do a recap. You got a teacher who was fired for, you know, uh, her 
one to rap, dressing properly in front of the kids, as you can see here, uh, actually making a music video with the kids, showing them how to properly go about succeeding in the rap industry. And then you have Sasha Red, who decided, hey, I'm going to just do what I do. So the whole point of what I'm trying to say is, you know, when you are in the music industry, make sure that you know how to guide it when it comes to the kids, because music is very influential people. As we see, a lot of people listen to rap music and a lot of people try to emulate the things that they see artists do. And now has been coming out here in the last two years. And a lot of that stuff that the artists say they did, they don't be doing. And we don't want to influence our kids in the negative light. We want to give them some positivity, some light when it comes to, you know, uh, them succeeding in life. Showing them that, yeah, you can be a rapper, but it's a certain way that you carry yourself when you are a rapper. But also make sure that you carry yourself the same way everywhere else you go. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all tell me about y'all thoughts of this video, man. Get down in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think. Give me everything that y'all think. I don't care the good, the bad, the ugly. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you like this video and you share this video so more people can run into this channel. And we are gone.